beginning of the 21st century saw a resurgence in piracy. The Gulf of Aden became one of the world's most dangerous places for vessels, and piracy continues to be a major threat in West Africa, Southeast Asia and South America. An increased military presence and the use of private security companies have helped to deter pirates, but the costs are high and there are legal and ethical implications of deploying lethal force. So there is a need to address piracy through non-military and non-lethal countermeasures and for new, affordable technologies to support ships travelling in high-risk areas. The iPatch project was set up to do just this. It's funded by the European Commission's Seventh Framework Programme and is made up of nine partners from across the EU. The most important thing for a vessel when travelling through a high-risk piracy area is good surveillance around the area. Um, early detection of a potential threat is absolutely crucial for the safety of the ship and the crew. So the current state of the art is people on the bridge with binoculars, a navigational radar and a system called AIS, which is Automatic Identification System where ships broadcast their positions. Obviously the pirates don't broadcast their positions and navigational radar struggles with the kind of small, fast-moving boats that pirates use. And people with binoculars are susceptible to fatigue and they will miss things. So the idea behind the eye patch system is to use visual detection and tracking with cameras to enhance the capabilities of surveillance around the vessel. First thing we did in the project was to do a study of all of the historical piracy incidents to look at the patterns of behaviour of the pirates and also which countermeasures were used and how effective they were in different situations. And that information is actually built into the system to help the algorithms determine whether a particular movement of a boat is threatening or not and also what is the best countermeasure to use in that particular situation. In the eye patch system, CCTV and thermal cameras are installed around the ship to observe any boats in the vicinity. The cameras automatically detect the boats and then these detections are combined with other sensor information, including radar and AIS. The result is that the boats are tracked, and then this information is passed to the next stage of processing, where the situation is assessed. For a situational assessment, the tracking data for each boat is analyzed in combination with contextual information, such as the boat is in the international waters, is in the high-risk area, is in a known fishing area, the time of the day, and the weather conditions. So this analysis determines relations between boats. For example, that one boat is approaching another, as well as simple behavior assessment. For example, that the boat is fishing. The final step in the processing is to decide whether a threat to the vessel exists, and if so, what countermeasures should be taken. Now all the information produced during situation assessment is fed into a threat model which is based on previous piracy incidents and also an input from piracy experts. And this model then calculates a level of threat to the vessel. And finally an overview of this whole situation is shown to the captain on a graphical user interface on the bridge. And this in particular includes a list of countermeasures that can be taken. Now these countermeasures are ranked by the expected effectiveness for the given situation. This will help the captain make a quick and more informed decision on how to keep the vessel and its crew safe. We are operating 31 vessels uh, worldwide. Uh, most of them are passing from high-risk areas, uh, facing uh, piracy and robbery threats. And the great thing about iPads is the early detection, a fact that is giving more time to the master and the crew to deal with such threats to implement the countermeasures and to protect uh, their life and the safety of the ship. So although the main technical innovation within the iPatch project is the onboard threat detection and decision support system, there are also a number of other results. There's the database containing all the piracy incident information, uh, there's an electronic countermeasures manual, and finally we have a data set which is recorded from the cameras and other bridge data which we're publishing as a data set for use by academia and industry for further research. Piracy is clearly a threat that is here to stay. But the iPatch project has shown that with early detection technology and the increased understanding of how different countermeasures can be deployed in different scenarios around the world, the safety of ships and their crews could be dramatically improved.